Hi everyone, I'm Farida, and this is the Dental Radiology. Today we're going to talk about the intraoral anatomy radiography, the paracal imaging of the maxillary incisors. The paracal radiograph of the maxillary incisors contains these parts: the nasal septum, the inferior concha, the nasal fossa, the anterior nasal spine the incisive foramen, the nose shadow, the median palatine suture, and the lip shadow. Let's see these parts on the human skull. In the facial view, we see the nasal septum, the inferior concha, the nasal fossa, and the anterior nasal spine. In the palatal view, we see the incisive foramen and the median palatal suture. The nasal septum is seen in the midline. In the paracarp radiograph of the maxillary incisors, the nasal septum is radiopaque because of the bony composition. The shadow of the septum may appear wider because of the superimposition of the conasal cartilage. The inferior concha. The lateral walls of the nasal aperture contains thin bony projection called the concha. The concha plus the mucosal covering is called the turbinates. On the periapical radiography of maxillary incisors, the inferior nasal concha is often visualized extending from the right and left lateral walls toward the septum. Nasal fossa and the nasal floor. The nasal fossa is the space of the nasal aperture. On the periapical radiograph of maxillary incisors, the floor of the nasal aperture are occasionally projected on the maxillary incisors. The anterior nasal spine is a bony projection in the floor of the nasal aperture. In the periapical radiograph of maxillary central incisors, it is located in the midline and 1.5 to 2 cm above the alveolar crest. It is seen as a radiopaque shape in the midline, just below the junction of the inferior end of the nasal septum. The nasal palatine canal. The nasal palatine canal originates in the anterior floor of the nasal cavity and exits on the anterior part of the maxilla as the incisive foramen. On intraoral radiographic, the nasal palatine canal are seen as pair of radiopaque lines vertically from the floor of the nasal aperture to the incisive foramina. In intraoral radiograph, the incisive foramen is usually projected between the roots in the region of middle and apical third of the central incisors, and it appears as an ovoid radiolucency. The median palatal suture, that is also called the intermaxillary suture, is formed by the palatal processes that articulate in the midline. On intraoral periapical radiography, this suture appears as a thin radial stent in the midline, extending from the alveolar crest between the center incisors and contains posteriorly. This suture is limited by two radiopaque borders of thin cortical bone on each side. Evaluation of the intermaxillary suture is important in planning for orthodontic expansion of the palate. The soft tissue of the nose is mostly seen in the apex of the central incisors. The soft tissue of the upper lip can also see in the projection of the maxillary centrals and is not seen near the crown of the maxillary central incisors. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and hit the bell button to get notified about the future videos.